standing outside the convention center where the annual APAC gathering is taking place this year. Um, the issue this year, more than ever, is Iran. It's completely dominated the agenda. Uh, US President Barack Obama spoke about it. President uh, Perez spoke about it. And today, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will also probably speak about it. I set out earlier uh, today to ask people what they think about the situation vis-a-vis -vis Iran and whether or not they believe Israel and or America should intervene militarily. Well, I think the question that has to be addressed first is what are Iran's intentions, right? We can't just consume the rhetoric that the leaders put out. We have to actually analyze the situation on the ground. So the answer is no? No, I don't think they would be well served in militarily striking Iran. I think there are better ways to deal with a regime or a country that you're not happy with. And, and striking striking a civilian population, striking, striking people in Iran isn't going to get the outcome that the U.S. and Israel want, right? Which is a, a destabilized regime in Iran. It's a big question. I think ultimately the Israeli people will have to decide and that ultimately the American-Israel relationship will continue regardless of what ultimately the Israeli government and the people decide is in their best interest. Personally speaking, it sounds like the, uh, those in charge are making the best decisions with the information that they have to continue to do the best they can with the intelligence that they have. And with that, based off of the intelligence to make the best decision, at this point, it seems to me, most of us don't know the full story. Maybe only a few people truly know all that there really is going on in Iran. I think certainly the U.S. should absolutely support Israel in any action that they take as they feel is necessary for their own national security of their citizens. Well, the problem that I run into is if uh, Israel is going to take a preemptive strike, um, unless we start acting proactively, um, the West will turn it around to be Israel's fault rather than Iran's fault. I support whatever is appropriate for the government of Israel to do to preserve their safety. I think we heard from President Obama they will carry our back, which is the way I presume he will honor his commitment.